Happy Friday to you. Do you ever get discouraged about the state of our culture and the state of the church? It's kind of a mess when you look around, if you watch the news at all, or even if you just think about the extended family that you have, there's a lot of difficult things going on. Russell Moore, who's a Christian writer and ethicist, wrote this book called Onward. There's kind of a humorous story at the end of it that I want to share with you today. He was complaining to the theologian, Carl Henry, about the lamentable state of the world and the church. He was talking about the downward slide of the culture. He said, we were giving example after example of doctrinal vacuity, vapid preaching, non-existent discipleship, clergy scandals, and on and on. Carl Henry seemed not the least bit unnerved by it all. Then he cleared his throat and offered up the rebuke I needed. It was right after I had asked, rhetorically, whether there was any hope for the future of Christian witness in the public square. Henry responded, Why, you speak as though Christianity were genetic, the old theologian said. Of course there is hope for the next generation of the church, but the leaders of the next generation might not be coming from the current Christian subculture. They are probably still pagans. Who knew that Saul of Tarsus was going to be a great apostle to the Gentiles, he asked. Who knew that God would raise up C.S. Lewis, once an agnostic professor? Or Charles Coulson, once Richard Nixon's hatchet man, to lead the 20th century church? They were unbelievers who, once saved by the grace of God, were mighty warriors of the faith. And then he said, the next Billy Graham might be drunk right now. See, this reminder is important to us as we get rather myopic about the state of the culture and the state of the church. We're going to look at some passages from the pastoral epistles on Sunday that I think will be a blessing to you and an encouragement. And of course, remember the words of Jesus. I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Have a great day. We'll see you Sunday.